everybody. I'm Paul Palian, Superintendent of Marketing and Communications at the Bensonville Park District. Thanks for joining us here on Spotlight on Bensonville. With summer-like weather already upon us, we'll be talking water park fun with Todd Linder. He's the manager of facilities and special events here at the Bensonville Park District. Welcome, Todd. Thank you for having me, Paul. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, glad to have you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your job as manager of facilities and special events. Well, special events is kind of self-explanatory. Um, I get to design um, and kind of implement all of those with the help of our rec team, um, kind of running them, helping uh, set up and prepare for that. And then when it comes to facilities, I manage our water park. Um, all of our field rentals, um, as well as the Deer Grove Leisure Center from our room usage, um, fitness center, minor upgrades, and stuff like that. Birthday parties, things like Birthday that. Birthday parties. Special things <laughs> like that. Excellent. And I know like spring and summer right now, you're fully consumed in water park uh, stuff. <laughs> uh, what kind of things go into preparing the pool facility? Uh, for a summer season, it's a lot. You, we were just talking off camera. You've been working 12, 13 hour <laughs> days already. And, and uh, so. Yeah, I, most people think when water parks, you know, it's a summertime thing where it's Memorial Day to, to August and then you're done. Um, but we really get started January with our hiring. Uh, we usually hire about 90 staff members. So we have to get them interviewed, hired, onboarded. Um, going to recruiting events at different high schools and um, different job fairs to make sure we get the, the best candidates possible. And then from there, it's pulling out all the lawn chairs and cleaning the deck, um, setting up all of our safety binders and our daily processes, um, as well as training. We got a CPR training, bloodborne pathogen training, lifeguard training, all the positions. Uh, so it's it's a lot, a lot of hours, but uh, got a great management team that's that's been helping me out, and we'll be ready to go come uh, Memorial Day. And you're still <laughs> hiring, right, for that? So uh, people that are interested in uh, joining the team at the Bensonville Park District and the water park, they can go to bevilleparks.org slash join our team. Is yep. that correct? Yep, can go there. Um, we are currently still hiring lifeguards, pool attendants, swim lessons instructors, and for our concession stand. So want to hire at least about 30 to 40 more staff members. So we're always looking for good people and... And some good perks too along with that, besides being in the sun all summer. Yeah, being in the summer, yeah, I mean, you get access to our fitness center, golf course, uh, plethora of different things, um, whether you're a part-time or a full-time employee. So it's really nice to... Excellent, sounds like, uh, as we both can attest, a great place to work. Uh, the pool opens, as you said, Memorial Day uh, on Monday the 29th. How can people take advantage of this great community resource? Yeah, so we open, um, like you said, the Memorial Day on the 29th. We're open from noon to five that day. Um, all of our holidays, are new, uh, we open at noon to five. Um, and then after that, we're open six days a week from Tuesday through Sunday, um, noon to 7 p.m. every single day, um, unless the, water, the weather's a little cold or rainy. Um, but then we have our rain out hotline that people can check or all of our social media um, for that. In the case that it's a blazing hot 90 degree Monday, um, we will uh, open the facility as well for open swim from our normal time from noon to seven as well. So. Excellent. And there's daily admissions, but also season passes are on sale right now. And uh... season passes are on sale. You can get an individual pass. You can get a couple pass or a family pass. Um, we changed that a, a year or so ago um, to our instead of a couple pass. Actually, it's a family of two. So if you have two siblings that want to get a pass because the parents are at work they can have that, uh, that option. Um, and then we have in district and um, out of district rates for that. And then our daily admissions are simple. It's general admission for adult, general admission for child, and then we have a uh, discount um, after 5 p.m. each day, the price gets cut in half. And there's different rates too for seniors, et cetera, right? Um, for, our, for our daily admissions, no, we just have, uh, on, 
youth and um, adult, so it makes it really easy. Uh, three to 17 is one price, 18 and older is another price. Uh, uh, but there is a senior rate for season passes. For so senior passes, yes. Yeah, for okay. season passes, um, we have a 55 or older uh, rate. For wonderful, that. wonderful. So that's your, your good value there. Of course, rentals is another part, important part of your position. Um, Tis the season for summer outings, picnics and parties in the park. <laughs> There's also some new party options at the water park this year. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Yeah, so all of our party options um, take place after hours. Uh, so they're either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Uh, they go from two hours long, so it's 7.30 to 9.30. Um, and the difference this year is with the two options, the entire water park is open. So if you go with our first option, that's if you have 50 to 75 guests, um, or 175 guests, I apologize. Um, you can come in and we have one of five areas of the facility that you can use um, and you'll be sharing it with, uh, you could have the possibility of sharing it with up to five other groups. Second option is the entire rental of the entire, the water park. So whether you have 10 people or 1500 people, uh, you can rent the entire water park out and have it kind of that exclusive experience Excellent. with everything open. That's your option, right? You're elite like that. You can. I, I like that. I like that option. <laughs> get it. Get it nice and open. You have, bring all your friends, family. Have, you know, food. Get to change the music. Have whatever music you want playing. It's it's a good time. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> uh, in addition to the water park and splash pad, uh, you can also rent a pavilion at one of our parks. And uh, I know, understand those went on on sale April first, and we're already starting to. Uh, start to fill up a little bit. We are, we are. So we have um, three parks. Uh, we have our Kiwanis Shelter, um, that's right outside the Deer Grove Leisure Center. Um, we have our Sunrise Park, um, which is uh, it's on the east side, uh, east side of the town. Um, and then we have new this year, Brighter Palm Park, um, which is right off of Church Road, right near uh, Blackhawk uh, Middle School. And you get uh, two options. You can either rent the pavilion for a half of day, which w is either 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. or 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. or you can rent it for the full day. Um, prices vary on that, but they're very low cost and we have picnic tables and stuff. Um, our Sunrise rental and our Kiwanis rental has grills, um, so you can grill out there. Um, hopefully eventually we'll get some grills over at Brighter Park as well. Um, but at least for this summer, uh, that won't be an option. And how do you go about renting those? Uh, do they contact you? How, do, how does that work? Renting our pavilions are super easy. They just can either call into our front desk if they're already in our system or uh, stop by our front desk, fill out our rental form, and they'll be able to take payment and get them all squared away right, right then and there. So there's no reason for our pavilions to have to contact me or go through anything else. They can do all that registration straight through our front desk. Great. So that's at the Deer Grove Leisure Center. Uh, 1000 West Wood Street here in Bensonville. There's also uh, birthday party packages. You mentioned a little bit about the Deer Grove Leisure Center and having some of those different packages. I know the Nerf one is always a, uh, a fun uh, activity. Yeah, so we got three great packages. We get your good old fashioned birthday party, uh, which is playing bozo buckets, carnival games, pin the tail on the donkey. Um, we have our sports birthday, which we tailor made per whatever sport the kid likes. Um, we've done soccer, volleyball, dodgeball, field hockey, uh, or floor hockey, uh, whatever they want. We kind of make it worth their while. And then obviously my favorite, uh, our Nerf Day birthday. Um, we have barriers, vests, uh, eye protection. We supply everything for them, um, as well as we have our party host that runs everything so the parents can pay one fee and kind of let them take care of the rest of it, um, which is nice. And those, it starts at 12, uh, there's a small fee for 12 kids. And then if you want to go up to 30 kids, there's a, you know, additional cost for that. But it, you know, anywhere from 12 to 30 kids you can have come out and it's, it's been a blast. <laughs> and then you can also uh, rent out for bigger parties, maybe White Pines Golf uh, Club, uh, maybe the banquet facility for Quinceanera, something like that, but uh, Fisher Farm also offering rentals. How does one do those? 
So with our uh, White Pines, uh, either the banquet, the hall, the tent, uh, they have a nice, awesome tent that they have there or their pine room rentals. Um, you just contact White Pines Golf Course um, or their banquets uh, department. I believe their email is banquets at whitepinesgolf.com. Correct, and the phone number is 7660304. Yeah, and then for the farm, they just want to get in contact uh, with Christine. She's the manager over there running that facility, um, and she can get them squared away with uh, kind of the different options that they have over there. Wonderful, and her email address is cshiel, S-H-I-E-L, at beevilleparks.org. Um, again, the pool opens Memorial Day, May 29th. Any other upcoming special events that you want to mention? Um, I'm really excited. We're going to be doing uh, multiple movies in the park this year. Um, we usually did one a month. We're going to be doing five this summer. And to kick that off is going to be on May 13th over at the golf course. We're going to be showing Happy Gilmore and doing a drive-in movie. So we'll be putting a big screen up right on the uh, driving range. We're going to park a bunch of the golf carts uh, out in, in the range and you can sit in a cart and watch that and have some snacks and beverages and it'll be a good time it's the true drive-in <laughs> experience except no room to hide your friends in the back right <laughs> <laughs> excellent well that we're looking forward to that and uh, of course thanks again for taking time to join us here on spotlight there's many additional activities coming up in those summer for all those of all ages to enjoy uh, first of all you can mark your calendar for fitness de mayo on may 5th Enjoy fun-themed Cinco de Mayo fitness classes all day long, including a free Zumba Gold class and Mexican party games. Afterward, enjoy a delicious Mexican lunch. Classes are free May 1st through the 6th as part of Free Fitness Week, so you don't want to miss that. Also, custom fitting days are back at White Pines. You can get fitted to play your best with the latest golf tech from TaylorMade on May 4th and Callaway on May 25th. Sign up at whitepinesgolf.com. Additional fitting days are scheduled for June and July as well. Finally, get excited for Memorial Day, May 29th. We already talked about the water park and splash pad opening. Before that, you can join the Bensonville Park District marching in the Wooddale Memorial Day Parade. Visit beevilleparks.org slash Memorial Day for more information and to download the sign up form. You can find out about these events and more at the Bensonville Park District website, that's bevilleparks.org, and also in the Summer Program Guide. Register for summer programs in person at the Deer Grove Leisure Center. That's all the time we have today. Thanks to our guest, Todd Linder, for joining us, and also to Chad and Anthony at the Bensonville Multimedia Communications Department for their great work in putting this thing together. I'm Paul Paley, and again, thank you so much for being with us. Till next time, so long, everybody.